I know it's here somewhere. Finally, finally. Oh, it's time for the duck. You're listening to Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Ah, uh, take it away, Doctor. Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon is brought to you by Go to Meeting with HD Faces. Well, it's that time again, and the doctor is in. Once again, it's time for the Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon netcast. We are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon. Um, we are so. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Get the old tongue working again. We are also proud members of the Internet Association, the International Association of Internet Broadcasters. Boy, you get yourself confused and things just start going wonky. Anyway, got lots of stuff to share with you. Boy, do I got stuff to talk about. First of all, let me mention that the Roku is now that pointing to my computer. The Roku is now the most utilized streaming device as of Q1 2013. So at the close of Q1 2013, they did a survey, and that survey indicated that in terms of utilization, in other words, people actually using it, it's one thing to have a device sitting on your, your you know, entertainment center. It's another to actually be using it. <laughs> so in terms of actual use, not in terms of sales numbers, in terms of actual use, the Roku far outstripped the other platforms, which include Apple TV, Sony, TiVo, other, Netgear, WDTV, Slingbox, and Boxy. So all of those are far outshadowed by the Roku, which I can understand. Roku is awesome. So moving on. The next item was unique and odd, and I liked it. So I have it on the blog. If you go there, you can get instructions and a link that will allow you to explore the TARDIS control room. And that is, of course, time and relative dimension in space, TARDIS. It is Doctor Who's vehicle for moving around in time and space. And it is, of course, bigger on the inside than it is on the outside, which is pretty cool and odd. At any rate, uh, if you go to this particular link, it will show you a police box in jolly old England. And then if you click on the double arrows at the base of the TARDIS, well, the police box, we don't know that it's a TARDIS yet, do we? Then you click on those double uh, arrows and it goes whoosh, and you're inside the TARDIS in the control room. And you can then, just like any other Google Map, you can kind of move around and explore and look up and look down. And Oh, it's cool. You've got to try it. It's highly, highly geeky. Yes. Okay. Um, we're talking about our sponsor now. How's that for a segue? Just bing, there we are talking about our sponsor. Our sponsor, of course, is Citrix Systems and their awesome product, GoToMeeting. Now, GoToMeeting allows you to, as the name implies, go to a meeting without physically having to attend the meeting, which is pretty doggone awesome in these days as the summer is waning down and we're kind of edging into fall. It's really hard to get a physical meeting among folks in diverse locations. It's hard to get everybody to come together. I mean, we've been traveling for the summer and vacation and everything. People want to just kind of chill, you know what I'm saying? So it's good to be able to do it over the interwebs. That's what they're for. So anyway, GoToMeeting makes it possible. And now you can control your meeting from your iPad. So you don't even, I mean, you could always participate, but now you can actually control the meeting from the iPad, which is pretty awesome. So GoToMeeting is really neat, very useful, and you need to take advantage of this special, special offer, which is 30 days absolutely free. 
30 days free. All you have to do is use the code word podcast as it says there on the bottom of the screen <coughs> in the lower third and you can take advantage of this super amazing offer. So do that. Do it now. Okay. Let's move on, shall we? This is a special announcement that I'm really excited about. My Chromecast came. What did I do with the box? I had the box earlier. I don't know where it is now. Oh well. Anyway, I'll show it to you in the video that I have here for you that shows a demo of the Chromecast and how it works. It works even better than I was hoping for. It's awesome. So check it out. All right, what we're looking at here is the Dr. Bill YouTube site. And I chose YouTube because YouTube already has the Chromecast um, casting tool built into it. I'm going to go down here to uh, this particular episode. And you notice here it starts playing as it normally would. But if I come right over here, there's a Chromecast button. If I click that, Notice it knows about my uh, Chromecast right here. If I select that, it then starts the Chromecast over on the TV. And it cranks it up over there. So, I'm going to stop here and switch over to that so you can see what it looks like. Alright, so here it is starting. You'll notice it comes up and tells you that it's the How to Make a Virtual Tinfoil Hat Edition. And then it just cranks up and starts playing in full HD mode. Which is pretty doggone awesome if you ask me. Okay, now this is another situation uh, that you would use a Chromecast. I have the Dr. Bill website, which is not specially enabled for the Chromecast. Uh, but over here we have the HTML5 um, and WebM video. So I'm going to go ahead and start that and put it full screen. And you will notice that it is playing full screen. But it's playing over on the TV as well. So I'm going to spin this around, and there is my TV. So the Chromecast has cast it over to the TV, and the audio and the sound that you're hearing are coming from the television. Now that's just awesome. You can't get around that. Now you'll notice also, now that I've stopped the video, that we have the full web page up on the TV and if I come down here uh, over to the PC and scroll down the page it will also scroll down the page on the TV. Now this is really handy. I've used this already several times uh, to show you know like my son Ben the Game Master and my wife Belinda uh, different things on the internet directly through the Chromecast. You can essentially surf the web, you can do whatever, and if there is a video on the page you just blow it up to full screen and boom there you go you've got your full screen Chromecast. The uses of this device is absolutely phenomenal. I can't say it enough how impressed I am with how the Chromecast works. Okay I hope you enjoyed that demo give you a little feel for how it actually works. I'm telling you, I am so impressed with this thing. For 35 bucks, you just cannot go wrong. Now, it took a while to get here to me. I hear that they're on even more back order now because so many people have bought them. So, make your move now. Go out and get you a Chromecast. You will not regret it. It is really, really awesome. If you got an HD TV, you hook your Chromecast to it, you can do all kinds of fun, cool things. Dude, so I definitely give it. I give it two thumbs up. Okay, it is that awesome. I'm, I'm out of thumbs, or I'd give it more thumbs. Serious. So anyway, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the netcast today. 
was a little short, but that's because there wasn't so many exciting things to talk about this week. You know, I mean, there were a few other things that just didn't catch my interest. You know what I mean? So, I didn't talk about them. There you go. Oh, and I just realized I didn't have a Geek Software of the Week. Sorry. I'll have two next time <laughs> to make up for it. Yes, Fred, I know you didn't get to do the drum roll, but you'll get to do it next week, so just chill. Man. Anyway, until next time, the doctor is out of here. Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon is a production of drbillbailey.net with all the honors, rights, and privileges thereunto appertaining.